Math 083 Final Exam Review Problem 13 Parts A and D. In Part A we have the square root of 64 times m to the 16th times n to the 22nd. Note that the implied root number is 2. We will need this fact. We have the square root of 64. For the powers of the variable we will convert from radical form to fractional exponent form times m raised to the 16 divided by 2 power. We take power divided by root and form a fractional exponent times n raised to the 22 divided by 2 power. The square root of 64 is 8 times m raised to the 8th power times n raised to the 11th power. That is our answer. Let's move on to part D. Because the radicand, the stuff inside the radical, consists of multiplied entities, we can multiply three cube root radicals. Now 24 is not a perfect cube, but we factor 24 as the perfect cube 8 times 3. So we have 2, which is the cube root of 8, times the cube root of 3. Then we have m raised to the power 9 divided by root number 3. This gives us m to the third power. Here we have n raised to the power 14 divided by root number 3. Now because this fractional exponent is not a whole number, the way I teach my classes is to convert this to a mixed fraction. 14 thirds is 4 and 2 thirds. Properties of exponents allow us to write n raised to the fourth power times n raised to the 2 thirds power. Note that this last factor in radical form is the cube root of n squared. Putting this all together we have 2 m cubed n to the fourth times the cube root of 3 n squared. And that is our answer.